Greetings everyone interested in teaching ESL. In this video, I'll share with you some interesting information that I learned about prepositions and language learning. And I'll tell you about the most effective exercises to help your students better learn them. In the link below, I've included some of these exercises that you can download and use for free with your students. I found this very interesting. According to Brain Briefs by Bob Duke and cognitive scientist Art Markman, adults who learn a new language make more mistakes with prepositions than with just about any other aspect of speech. Most ESL teachers have probably been asked questions like this one that I had from one of my students, Alejandra, from Mexico. Why do we say, I'm confused about, rather than, I'm confused at? It seems futile to try to explain the reason or give rules for when to use certain prepositions. And even if we could formulate some rules, it seems unimaginable the students will stop while speaking or writing and ask themselves, hmm, now what was the rule for that preposition here? Here is how unrealistic that is. Look at the preposition on. Just that one preposition has 10 definitions. So here is the question. What is the best way for students to learn prepositions? According to Markman and Duke, whom I quoted earlier, and according to linguist Stephen Krashen, the best way to learn them is through input. In other words, the most effective way to learn them is to hear them and read them in common and natural situations. As Duke and cognitive scientist Markman say, this will allow your brain to recognize which ones are appropriate in different contexts. What they are saying is the best way to learn these is inductively. In other words, we don't try to teach them deductively by telling them the rules about when to use them and then having them memorize those rules. And as Markman and Duke say, for students to learn prepositions inductively requires a lot of exposure to the language. This is very consistent with the natural approach of Stephen Krashen, who has been one of the leaders in the field of ESL teaching. As I had mentioned, in the link below, you'll find exercises that you can use to help your students learn prepositions. This, these exercises are inductive, just as Duke and Markman and Krashen all say is the best approach for learning them. You'll also notice in the link I demonstrate a technique that you can use to lead students to discover their mistakes with prepositions in writing assignments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.